Saturday and I have to get ready for my dad's birthday. So I figured, why not get ready now? Anyway, a lot of you guys were asking me if I'm still doing that fertil pink store fertility tea. Um, I was doing it up until I would say like about a month ago I stopped and the only reason why I stopped was because I was doing that whole I'm giving up on everything nothing matters I'm depressed and this isn't working so with me when it comes to my period I have a period every month when I'm supposed to except for recently. I've been having maybe a period, it might be like a couple of days late. I've had one where it was a week late, but at the same time thinking about everything that I was going through, as in I had a lot of stress going on at one time, so which caused it to, yeah, come late. So that irritated me. But besides that, I have a friend that actually has been taking it. Her peers have not been normal. And she started taking it, and next thing you know, her periods are like on a regular schedule. Oops, sorry. And she 100% believes that Pink Stork did, Pink Stork did that. I'm going to start Pink Stork up again very, very soon. It's just right now, how do I put it? I'm going to focus on my blood pressure so that way I'm not torturing myself with the Pink Stork and then not being able to still go to the fertility clinic and I'm like, well, I've been doing this for like the last month and a half. So hopefully that works. Putting a little more because I had a long night. Hopefully this helps me. Yeah. Crash. I have a bottle up here and a can up here because my cat's afraid of cans, so it stops him from jumping up here. I know it sounds really weird. My cat is afraid of cans. But he is, he does not like them, he hates them, um, he hisses at them, it's really weird. If I can ever show you guys, like if I'm doing it, hopefully he doesn't end up wanting to like play with it afterwards, but hopefully it works. But yeah. So, I'm doing really basic makeup for my mom and dad's little event today. It starts at 11. And I think right now it's like 10.20. So I'm running late. As usual. Should I contour? I could do my powder contour. Yeah, I'll do it. So, okay. Tim's in the kitchen. He's cleaning up the kitchen for me. Which I have to like thank him amazingly again. He's been awesome with that recently. He's been making sure that the kitchen's clean, the family room's clean, so that I don't have to worry about doing it. When I get off work, all I have to do is just start cooking. So, yeah. Ouch. <sighs> I hold my breath when I put powder on, because I don't like inhaling it. Now, I don't want to show you guys my eyeshadow palette because, well, I'll show. It's really messy. The ones I usually use, obviously, is this one, that one for eyeliner, and I use this one a lot, and this one a lot. But right now, I'm going to do basic, and I'm going to use this brown. These are 
just can barely see it because my lighting in my bathroom sucks to a point. Like when we moved in here, to made up the point to put new, um, whatchamacallits, light bulbs in here so it's brighter for me. It helped out to a point. I don't know how people do their makeup <coughs> inside there. Well, I guess they have a camera and a mirror. I don't have that. I have my phone. And my mirror is right there, but if I lean into my mirror, you can't see me. It would be. So, yeah. So, I'll just use this one. This works. Mm, make it out a little darker than what I normally do. But that's fine. It's Saturday. What the hell? Why the hell not? I think, because I'm wearing green, so I want to use browns. They don't do warm, warm, oh, that works. Tim's going to be coming in here soon, meaning he's going to probably yell something obnoxious. Maybe I'll add some color to it. It looks very plain right now. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. That's a little better. I don't want to add too much because I just, I just want it to be where it's like, oh, okay, she has some color. Now, here's the thing about today. I have my high school reunion. My 10-year high school reunion is today. I'm not going. For multiple reasons. One reason is I messaged the guy who was doing the high school reunion. He was like, oh, why don't we have it? Like he was asking us where should we have it? And I gave him plenty of advice on where. Now, party planning is something that I enjoy doing. I love to plan parties, weddings, baby showers, all of that fun stuff. I just don't have enough people or friends that are getting married or having babies to do so. And my friend that is getting married, her cousin really wants to plan it with her. So it was one of those where I'm like, I'll set aside for that. But I really wanted to help plan this. Dude completely ignored all my messages. It's like rude, but it's like, oh well. So instead of being able to have it at a venue which i found a really cheap venue that wouldn't cost us a whole lot of money and it would have been very nice because we would have been able to have tables and somebody cater and all of that fun stuff but instead of us doing that we're hosting it at a park in case you didn't understand that we're hosting it at a park and then they're trying to charge 50 dollars for us to go so I'm not about to go to some barbecue for my reunion and have to see some people that I don't really care for. I know I'm starting to sound like a huge bitch right now, but there's a lot of people I don't care to see because in high school, they were very rude to me. And why do I want to go hang out with rude people who are probably still rude? And... Okay, I'm gonna have to lean into the mirror for this one. Give me a second, you guys. Okay, I'm back. I just went ahead and started doing my eye. Well, my mascara. My eyeliner's not even like matching right now. But I don't care. Reason why is because when I do my hair, I usually have hair hanging from this side. So it works that way. Tim's yelling at our cat. I guess Bowie's probably bothering him. Hmm. Okay, there we go. Yeah, back to what I was saying. There's people that I really don't care to see. 
and it's not that I don't fully like them because I won't say I dislike everybody. There's just a good handful of people that teased me in high school and some of them actually after high school apologized to me. And it's like, okay, the ones that apologize to me, it's like, chill, that's, that's pretty cool. It's not that I'm holding a grudge, it's just 10 years from high school, nobody's really changing because they haven't had enough things happen in their life where like they have, some people have kids, some people have been married and all of that, but then there's still a really good handful that are still in that, I'm partying and I want to do this and all of that. And it's like, that's fine. That's, that's cool that you're into that. However, you haven't changed much. So if you're still in that partying, I want to get <clears throat> smashed all the time. And like, that just tells me you haven't changed since high school. So why would I want to go somewhere where it's like, I've honestly gained like 10 pounds, 20 pounds since high school. And they called me fat then. Why do I want to go somewhere where I've gained more weight and dealing with the people, the same type of people, where they're probably going to call me fat now? No. I would much rather have some positivity in my life because I'm going through trying to have a baby and I know that needs a lot of positiveness. Hi, Tim. So, I decided not to go huh? to, I'm talking to YouTube, I decided not to go to my reunion for that reason. Boom. Ready to go get cooking, except for my eyebrows. My eyebrows look terrible. I don't know what to do with my eyebrows, you guys. <clears throat> I don't usually worry about my eyebrows because my mom has all, my mommy's always told me they're perfect, but I like them thicker. So this is literally what I do with my eyebrows if I wasn't running out of eyebrow liner. gosh I can't do it like this how do you guys do this there we go you know what I'll come back after this one okay there we go so I think I did it they're not even of course as usual but yeah next is lipstick but my lipstick I'll probably just do in the car because I don't have the color that I want Maybe, maybe I do. Let's see. I want like a brown color. It's gonna get loud for a second. And I think all the colors that I have are just very pink, mauve, taupe, but nothing like dark brown. The one that I have that's dark brown, it's like I like it, but I don't. What is he watching? Okay, so. Oh gosh. Now, I don't have one of those good indents right here. But I make one. I have bad dry skin, and that makes me angry. It's okay. But yeah. Next is my hair. I don't know how long this is gonna take. It might take a while because it's wild. Yep, yeah, it's kind of wild. So I'm gonna do my hair. Well, then again, maybe just adding some water to it might make it tame a little more. 
because it just wants to go everywhere today. But I think I'm gonna add, ooh, this color is nice. Maybe, I just found it, so maybe. Yeah, I'll wear it. I might add some brown to it later. <laughs> but so, I think I'm gonna add some water to my hair. Finish getting ready so, ooh, there's a tangle. Finish getting ready so we can go to visit my parents. And then I will get back to you guys. You guys will obviously get to see after everything. But yeah, so I'll talk to you guys in a little while. Okay, so I just added some water to it. I didn't add a whole lot. Um, hopefully it'll tame it a little more. Now it's time for me to do my daily vitamins. I believe with this one, I have to read it every time I forget. Take four capsules once a day. So I take two now and then I take two later on tonight. That's right. I always forget. Now, usually you drink it with water, but I don't have water with me, but I have this. The reason why I'm drinking this so much now is because it has pomegranates in it. Two birds, one stone. But I don't know if I can actually take them on stream, so I'm going to set them aside, and then I'm going to take them off. But one of these, but it says daily as a dietary supplement, take one capsule per day. So you take one of these with four of these. I usually do this in the morning or if I forget, then I'll do it in the afternoon and then I'll take these with it. So either way, I'm getting this. My prenatal. Wait, did I take one out? I didn't take one out. See, I would have forgot. Then I take my prenatal. Which these I can take because they're chewable. These you take two. I take two. I don't take one. I take two. Because I don't use this much vitamins. I know I can take them, but I'm gonna leave those there. And I believe that's it. Besides my other medication that I take for like my high blood pressure, and then I have an anxiety medication that I was starting to take, I stopped. It gave me more anxiety taking it than I do without it. So that ended. Um, and then I also do a, you know, if I still have this stuff, I'll just go into the kitchen, I'll just mix that up and show you guys. So I think I'll do that. So let me take these and then I will get to that. Hey YouTube, I hope you guys can hear me. So I am going to show you what I normally do, which you guys already saw that I take my medication in the morning. Um, and now I get to make my lovely concoction of a detox, which supposedly helps with high blood pressure, anxiety, weight loss, and all this other stuff. And it's just something I take in the morning. I don't do it every single, like, I don't do it all day, every day. I literally take it in the morning, go to work, and yeah. Oops, I forgot one thing. My cinnamon, I forgot the cinnamon. Take cinnamon, 
apple cider vinegar, water, which I only have a little in here. The rest is in here and honey. I don't have my full on honey that I usually have. So I use this lavender one, which actually kind of helps with it. So it's really gross. It doesn't taste good. Just a heads up. I don't use the whole spoon though. I need a place to put this sticky substance. This is what I normally drink. It's just pregnancy tea. It's not my fertility tea from Pink Stork. I need to get more of that if I do continue it. I'll set it right there. But anyway, so in here I have water and honey mix. So I think it's like, yeah, it's like a quarter of a cup. You can't tell, but honey's in there, trust me. Oops. I do a couple of shakes of cinnamon. This is where it gets gross because this is disgusting. I'm supposed to do like two tablespoons of this. And like I said, it's gross. It's really gross. It smells gross. Um, but you know what? I'll mix it with this. And yeah. This is gross. I like dread doing this every morning. And to make it even worse, <laughs> red maca root powder. Now my brother said you're supposed to cook this. I never do. Because if you don't cook it, I guess it causes an upset stomach to a point. <sighs> but I'm only going to add a little bit. I'm not adding a lot. You're going to get a... Don't. You shouldn't be drinking that. That's poison. It's not poison. <laughs> Gosh, this is, I hate doing this, but. Like, it smells like, how do I put it? Um, ass. No, it doesn't smell like ass. It smells like Fermented. apple cider that you let ferment or sit out for a long period of time and then decide, oh, you know what? We'll just put it in a glass and drink it. So I'm gonna have my chaser, which is this. So, okay, I'm gonna drink it so you guys can see my reaction to it because like I said, it's not good. Ugh. And not all of it is in there because it's not all mixed up. I let it sit for too long. Oh gosh. Ugh. Okay, so yeah, that's my normal daily routine. Whew. And um, as you can see, the double chin comes out and I do it, it's really gross, I don't like it. But it helps keep you full, I guess. I don't know how the whole thing works. I just know it helps with high blood pressure and anxiety. And that's really all I care about. But anyways, I will talk to you guys later. I'm probably heading to the massage right now and I'm gonna help out my dad. I'll probably record a little there. But I'll see you guys soon, bye. And bring lots of beef jerky too. Hey, see? USAA Bank helps you stay a step ahead. Find help at every turn yeah. with USAA Bank. <laughs> Southern New Hampshire University is not your typical school. It is so much more than that. Even miles away, they make you feel so involved and so connected through their online experience. I felt like I was still at their campus. They offered the flexibility that I needed to continue on classes, even if I was out of employment. Marilyn, will you grab an aluminum pan? 
the big one. That's no, my the small dad. one inside of there. Inside the room? Yeah. Something to put these bones in. There's my mom. Turn around, mom. Over here. There's my dad. Yay. Yay. <laughs> There's Angie. Yay. <laughs> we are chopping up, cooking, everything. Dirty dishes, don't see. But where's the pot? There it is. Woo. There it is. Like, let's see. Squish. I don't know if you want to put it on the stove. A lot of people say I look like my mom. I'm trying to show all of us. <laughs> They're matching. <laughs> Where's Tim? Is he still gone? Huh. I guess he's still getting me food. <laughs> I love my family. <laughs> like this? Yeah! Peach cobbler! Okay. It's really hard to record. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so we completely finished cooking all the dinners and everything. I would have shown you guys, but I was just really busy. And then we went and hung out with my friend Olivia. Here with Rainy. Pretty much my sister-in-law. And then my dad's right here. He's going through his winnings for the night. <laughs> oh, this is the peach cobbler I made. It's gonna be a awkward. Yeah, yeah, there we go. It's not your regular peach cobbler. It's a different type, it's like a southern type. But yeah, so now we're just sitting at the bar area drinking. And well, yeah, we are. Not my dad. But drinking, having fun. Um, I'm probably gonna go home soon. I'm tired, and I know Tim's tired. So yeah, see you guys later.